Hey YouTube, Unknown Prepper here. Uh, today going over a topic that I see discussed uh, quite often on YouTube and the gun community, prepper community as a whole, and that is how much ammo is enough during an SHTF event. Um, and I, I've seen a lot of different opinions on this. I kind of wanted to just give my opinion and what my viewpoints are on the topic. Um, and I'll kind of break it down into a couple different categories. As you can see, I have a um, plate carrier here along with some magazines, and I just wanted to kind of discuss the topic as a whole. So first I'll start with magazines. Uh, as you can see, I have a different assortment of magazines here. I have some uh, AR-15 slash M4, M16 style magazines, um, some AK variant magazines, and then some pistol uh, magazines. Um, and I have a lot more uh, rifle magazines than what I have displayed here, um, but I just kind of wanted to show you the two different types that I have. So, first of all, I think your primary weapon, you should have more magazines than your secondary weapon. Um, and with that being said, the reason is your secondary weapon really should only be used, you know, kind of in a last-ditch effort. Again, that's why it's considered your secondary. Um, so, for me... I think the bare minimum, if you can afford it, that you want to have for your primary rifle would probably be eight magazines, if that's possible. Um, and I know for some people that's that's not possible. You know, money is kind of tight, and eight is not a possibility. Um, to me, if you're going to fight an extended um, an extended period of time. Then I would say eight is, you know, like a really, it's a decent amount, especially if you can run 30 round magazines. Now, I live in a state where uh, 30 round magazines are not allowed. Um, so, unfortunately, I have to carry 10 round magazines. So, for me, it makes it that much more um, important to have more magazines. Um, now, if you, were, if you were in a state where you could run 30 round magazines and, you know, you didn't want to deal with the weight then I could see maybe running six, you know, having one one in the rifle ready to go and then five uh, backup magazines. And again, to me, your goal should always be to avoid a firefight 100% of the time. If you don't have to fire at somebody and take that risk of getting injured, especially uh, in an SHTF event where medical stuff may not be available or it's almost impossible to find, your goal should always be to avoid a fight. Um, but with that being said, at the same time, you also want to be able to, you know, have fire uh, superiority over somebody else who, you know, maybe is less prepared than you. So to me, like I said, if you could have eight magazines, I feel like that's a good amount that you could carry. Um, one thing to remember, though, is if you're not training with your gear and you're not training with that weight, eight magazines do add up, especially if they're a 30 round magazine, you're going to be carrying a lot of weight around. Um, and another thing to think about, too, is once you start double stacking the magazines in these pouches, they do, they do get tight and they're tough to take out. So like I said, maybe if you had um, five or six, you could have four single stacked here, one in the uh, rifle and then one more backup. Um, I think you could definitely get away with six as well, but eight would be plenty to to fight a full scale, um, you know, little little battle if you had to. Now for your backup. Um, to me, I think the bare minimum should probably be three. Um, that being one in your um, one in your pistol with a round in the chamber at all times, and then two backups. Now, I've seen other people run a lot more backup magazines on their setup. And to me, I'm not saying this is a bad idea, but again, like I said, if if you're having to switch to your secondary, I feel like you're you're already in a bad situation anyway, and at that point you should, unless you absolutely had to fight your way out of something, you would probably want to avoid continuing that fight. Um, and I know a lot of people may feel differently about that, but like I said to me, if you're in a situation where medical supplies are limited or there may not be a doctor, and this is an event where you know it's just it's not it's not an environment that you want to get hit in you should always be trying to avoid the fight. So to me, I think three magazines is plenty. You have one, you know, one to hold your your standard your standard load that you're 
going to hopefully never have to use, and then two backup magazines. And again, it, it depends on, you know, what size magazines you have. These are 10 round magazines. There's, uh, you know, pistols that are nine mil that hold 20 rounds, you know, and people have larger extended mags. And if that's the case, maybe you have, you know, one larger mag and then a single backup. I think that's fine as well. Um, I just think you should at least hopefully have 30 rounds. And again, you do what you can with what you can afford. But to me, I think three is kind of a, a good spot to be at, um, you know, as a minimum. And again, like I said, any any amount of magazines other than, you know, a single one that you have in your main battle rifle or your backup is, is better than nothing. Um, I just think that, you know, realistically, you want to have a couple to fight your way out of a bad situation. Now, when it comes to ammo itself... I've seen, you know, some people say, hey, you know, you need to have 10,000 rounds of your primary uh, rifle. And I, I think that's just extremely unrealistic for a lot of people. Um, I think, you know, for people that this is all they do all the time, they go to the range constantly. They're, they're there, you know, every single weekend shooting. And that's kind of what they devote their life to, that it's a, it's a hobby and you're prepping at the same time. I, I guess a lot of people can afford that. Um, for somebody like me, I can't afford to have 10,000 rounds ready to go all the time. Um, but I'll, I'll show you the kind of the setup that I do have here. Um, so I bought some of these ammo boxes. Uh, they come in the single single boxes. These are plastic, and I like that they do have the, um, the seal on this side here, so it helps with moisture. Now, I've filled most of these smaller boxes up pretty much to the top. Um, and again, it depends on what size round you have here. Um, but I would say, generally, I probably have at least 500 rounds of the, um, of the main calibers that I use. So 45 ACP, uh, 22 long rifle, 762 by 39 and 9 mil. Um, these are the rounds that I'm using a lot. And then I also have a bigger box with, uh, 556. Now, as far as the round count... Again, I, I think the whatever you can afford would be, you know, would be best. If you can afford to have 5,000 rounds of 5.56, I think that's great. But at the same time, you know, you have to remember weight. You're not going to be carrying these, these around with you every single place that you go. So obviously the more ammo that you can store, the better. Um, but I think as far as like a minimum amount that you're going to want to have... I would say hopefully for your main, like, uh, you know, I'm going to use 5.56 probably more than anything. And then as a backup, my main pistol is 45. So I have at least 500 rounds of 5.56 at all times and at least 500 rounds of 45. Um, and again, I know that's not feasible for some people. You know, some people just cannot afford to drop that type of money on ammo. And I, that's totally respectable. And I understand that. Uh, you have to kind of broaden what you're spending your money on, especially with preparedness. You can't focus too much on one area. Um, but for me, like as far as what I store, I would think that at least 500 rounds of your main caliber that you're going to be shooting on your on your main rifle and then 500 rounds of your backup pistol ammo. And uh, that's that's just to, to keep you going for a long time. I mean, like I said, obviously you want to avoid a fight at all costs if you can but there's going to be some situations where you have to fight and at that point i want to be able to put some rounds down range at a target and know that i can still go back to you know my house or wherever i'm operating out of in a bad situation and say okay you know i shot 60 rounds i still i still can do that you know multiple times and you know still have rounds to, to fight the next fight. And again, you're, you know, obviously, like I said, the more rounds you have, the better off you're going to be. But to me, at that point, I want to have at least 500 rounds of my main rifle and main backup pistol caliber that I'm going to be shooting. And then if you have a couple other calibers, obviously, you don't have to stack them as, as much. I mean, I, I think what I have is a little bit overkill as far as um, you know, storing ammunition for each type of round. I have a, a big, uh, I'm very diverse in what I shoot, but overall to me, I think you should, 
in a bad situation, you should, for the ammo that you're storing, you should try and stack the two main calibers that you're going to shoot the most. So instead of having 500 rounds of 22, 500 rounds of 762, 500 rounds of 9 mil, 500 rounds of 30 odd six, whatever, you really should try and focus more on stacking 556 and 45 if that's what you shoot the most. Um, again, this is a topic that's been discussed a lot. Everybody has different opinions on this. I just kind of wanted to give my opinion if you guys uh, disagree or you agree but you know have some different thoughts about it. Go ahead and drop them down below. I'd love to hear what you guys think. Thank you so much. Have a nice day.